In this video, I'll show you how to use Elementor to create accordion tabs like this, which changes text and images when I click on them. It's super simple. We will use the accordion widget and a few lines of code, which I will leave in the description below. Let's find a section to add the accordion. This looks good. Just click the plus icon to add a new section and select the two column layout. Then I'll go to the left panel and set the minimum height to VH and the value to 60. VH is the viewport height of your device, meaning this section will take up 60% of the screen height. And with that done, we now have plenty of space to create the accordion with an image next to it. Okay, our layout is set. It's time to add the accordion widget. Open the widget panel by clicking on the grid icon at the top left. In the search bar, type accordion to find the widget. Now drag the accordion widget into the left column of the container. Next, I'll add an image widget to the right column. This will help us set up the images that will change with the different accordion items. Just go to the widget panel, search for the image widget and drag it here. Let's also make sure everything is aligned to the center. I'll just go to the navigator and choose the container with the accordion widget. Then go to the layout tab on the left and justify the content to the center. I'll quickly do the same for the right column containing the image widget. This will keep both the accordion and the image widgets equally spaced out. With that done, we can now add the content to the accordion widget. But before we do that, you need to understand one thing. Adding these features will surely make your website engaging, but what's the use if it does not load properly when your visitors interact with it? Adding customizations like this can slow down even a new site and drive away visitors. So my team built this awesome free tool called Airlift, where you just have to put your site URL and it will optimize your entire website and give you a 90 plus page speed score without breaking your site. Also, you can go to the visual regression tab to see if anything has changed on your site. Their support is highly responsive. So if you face any issues, just raise a ticket and they will handle it. So try it out and share it with your friends because you will thank me later. Let's scroll down a bit and I'll use the headings from this section on the page, but you can include anything you want. Okay, let's just copy the text from this heading like this. Now go back up to the accordion, click on item one and paste the heading here. I'll also complete the different headings quickly and this is what it looks like. Now let's add the description for each accordion item. To do this, I'll drag a text widget from the widget panel and drop it into the area here. Then I'll paste the text here and repeat these steps for each item. Now that the content is in place, let's style it to match the rest of the page. First, I'll add a heading above the accordion to give some context to the section. I'll drag a heading widget from the widget panel and place it above the accordion here. Then I'll click on the heading text to edit it like this. Now in the left panel, I'll go to the style tab and change the text color. To adjust the text style, I'll click on the pencil icon next to typography. Let's adjust the font weight to light. Yeah, this looks good. Once that's done, let's quickly make some style changes in the accordion. I'll click on the accordion and go to the style tab. Click on the header section and change the size to this. This looks good. Let's just add a default image for the right column. This image will be displayed when the page loads next to the accordion. I'll click on the image widget. Let's select an image from the media library like this and click on insert. Now it's time to add some custom code to make our design interactive. Just go to the description and copy the code snippet. Go back to your Elementor page, drag an HTML widget and drop it below the image. Paste the code here and copy this toggle image text. Next, I'll click on the image widget again and go to the advanced tab. I'll scroll down to CSS classes and paste the toggle image text as the class name. This will link the image to the code we added. Now we have to change a few things in the custom code. This will allow us to add the different images and link them with the accordion items. To do that, let's go to the WordPress media library choose the image and copy the link from here. Go back to the Elemental tab and paste the image URL here. Okay, let's link this image to the correct accordion item now. Let's preview the page and scroll down to the accordion section. 
I'll right click on the page and select Inspect to open the developer tools. Let's click here on the top and then click on the first accordion item. Just look for the highlighted text in the inspector panel to find the tab's ID. The ID for this tab is 8300, so let's go back and replace the placeholder ID in the code with 8300. This tells the code to change the image when clicking on the first accordion tab. Now let's move on to the second tab. I'll copy this section of the HTML code and paste it right below. Next, I'll get the URL for the image I want to display when the second accordion tab is clicked and paste it here like before. I'll also go back to the developer tools, click on the second accordion tab and find its ID. The second ID is 8301, so let's add it to the code. Preview the page again to check if the image changes when the second tab is clicked. OK, the image isn't changing, and this is because Elementor has updated its tags for the accordion widget. To fix this, I'll go back to the code and change hash Elementor tab title in the code with hash en accordion item for both the first and second tabs. Finally, let's make the changes for all the remaining items. I'll copy and paste the code, change the image URLs, and add the IDs here. The IDs always follow a sequence, so it's easy to guess the next ones. So for my accordions, the third and fourth tabs are listed as 8302 and 8303. Once all the tabs are set up, they should look like this. And if I click here, the image changes too. Comment below if you have any questions and I will help you out. Click this video if you want to triple your site speed in just one minute. You're really going to thank me for this. So click here and I will see you there.